Last uh, sessions we have seen uh, previous M M M M MCQs. We will also continue with another set of MCQs. There will be many uh, questions uh, in the MCQs. So I have gathered some questions around 60 or 60 uh, and around 60. So we will continue those MCQs. We will start with the first. Okay, what? Here the first, first MCQ is a collection of rented data. So, what is the collection of printed data in a database? So, options are information, value information, database, and metadata. So, we are sure that it is not a information, not a valuation, not a metadata also. So, it is a database. So, a collection of related data is stored in the database. And uh, we can, uh, and using various uh, mechanisms, we can extract the, and we can display to the end user. So, collection of related data is a database. Yes, so DBMS, next question, DBMS manages the interaction between dash and database. So, so DBMS is a, a system. So, it a system and it involves many, 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 uh, many stakeholders. Okay, what are the things, what is uh, the interaction, database is there and who is going to use the database? Here we have users, clients, end users and stakeholders. So, the, all these are the stakeholders. So, the user is a stakeholder, client is a stakeholder, end user, stakeholder. But uh, here, the most appropriate, uh, most the near fully is the end user. So, end user is going to request uh, data. Suppose you go to your, uh, you go to email, you enter your credentials, you you will see the data. That uh, e that email data is coming from a database. Similarly, you go to any shopping cart. Any shopping cart is search for any particular item, then the, the, the related details of the item displayed. So it is the end user who is going to request data from the database. Okay. Which of the following is the third question? Which of the following is not involved in DBMS? So in end users, data, application request, HTML. So here oh, it is quite confusing because in the last session we have, we, we have said that end user DBMS matches the interaction to the end user from the database. Uh, here we see that now here they saying something not in more than DVMS. The options given to her are so it can it, it cannot be data, it, it, it cannot be data because DVMS involves the, the involves the database. It cannot be also with end users because uh, it, because because the end users will be also be using it. It it can also it, it also cannot be an application request because you you request from the database through the application request. You have a front end page, uh, uh, a web page, a stream page, a dynamic page, you request to data, so it, it, it cannot be an application request, so it have to be only HTML, okay? Next is the, a characteristic of an entity. What is an entity? Entity is a real-time object, okay? Now, what is here the, the characteristic of an entity? It is, it is, okay, a characteristic of an entity is a, a relation, an attribute, a parameter, a constant, okay? Here the option option given to here here is constraint, but I am not very sure about this. So we'll we'll just keep in mind. We'll have to discuss this in in our in, in, while we go further. So this we'll have to discuss once again. What is the characteristic of? I was thinking, I was thinking it is a relation is there. So, so entity will have a relation. So entity will have a relation, but uh, here uh, uh, here there seems to be that relation is not the right answer. So they have same constant, but I'm not sure. So I'm sure it, it should be a relation. So the plausible answer could be a, a relation. Okay, we'll discuss this eh? in, when we in, when we go proceed further. Okay, the restrictions placed on the data. Yes. No, I'm sure this is not the right answer. You can strike it out. You can say the entity of entity can be relation or an attribute. Okay. So constant is not the right answer. The restrictions placed on the data. So, what is the restriction on the place of data? Suppose you have a data, you have a, a name field. Name field, you, you don't want to enter any uh, integer values. You don't want to enter any integer values. That is, you are you are you are you are restricting the end user from entering a a, a numerical value in, into a a 
into a, a character field. So that is a constraint. Constraint is a rule. Suppose also you can also say that uh, you, you you make a constraint rule that uh, my mobile number should be of 10 digits. If you are trying to enter less than 10 or more than 11, you will not be allowed to enter. So that is a, a constraint is like a rule. Okay, a rule defined on the database. That constraint can be made at a table level or at a column level. So when it is made at a, a, a table column level, it's called a column constraint. When it is made at a table, it's called a table level constraint. Okay. Next, the detailed description, detailed description on entity constraints, entity relations, and entity types is. So what is uh, you know, here? We have here uh, some four types of designs here: low level schema design, physical design. Conceptual design and logical de design. Now here we need to find out what is the detailed detailed description on entity constraints, entity relations, and entity type. Everything is is available in the conceptual design. In the, in the conceptual design, every thing of an entity is mentioned, is described. Uh, entity constraints, entity relations, and, and, and entity types. Okay, next. Two. An entity is what is an entity? It is something like a, a real time object. So, entity is like a real time object. It is an object of relation, present uh, working model, a thing in real world or model of relation. So, entity is always a real a real time entity, real time object. So, answer would be C here. Okay, now the attribute A is calculated from the date of birth. So, as uh, as well as uh, date of birth will never change for a person, but age will change every year. So here, the question to you, the, the question given to us was that an attribute age, attribute age is calculated from date of birth. So based on the date of birth, and you compare with the current date, you are going to get age. Now, what is this age? It is a single uh, single valued. It is a single valued. It is, uh, it is not multi-valued, it is not composite, but it is derived. See, it is not a direct, it is not a direct column in the database. You, because you will not store the, uh, the age in the database directly. Because every year the data is going to change. So we will we will derive it from a the existing column data birth. So when we have a data birth by using the uh, by use by by using the function uh, like date diff, uh, date diff. So we can calculate the age of a person by uh, using date diff for comparing the, the date of birth with the current date. So now this age is a derived attribute. This this derived is a is derived attribute. Okay, which uh, one of the following can be a multi-valued attribute? So what is a multi-valued having a, say a property having more than one value? So a property having an attribute having more than one value is a multi-valued attribute. What are the here we see here phone number, name, date of birth, all of the mentioned. So name cannot be have a multi-value attribute because each person cannot have two names. Also, he he also cannot have uh, two date of births, more than one date of birth. So the answer is mobile number is phone number. A person can have more than one phone number. So that is a multi-value attribute. So remember a multi-value attribute is attribute may possess more than one value okay now what is now next question is going to give us an knowledge about a single valued attribute what is a single value attribute? there should be only there should be only one value for that value the attribute for example your roll number your roll number there will be only one person with that roll number there cannot be two persons in that row same roll number options uh, here the key here given to us are the register uh, the register underscore number, the address, the subject taken, reference. The address can be multi-address. You can have a temporary address, you can have a permanent address. So it cannot be a single valid attribute. Subject taken also cannot be, you can take multiple subjects. You can also take a reference, you can also cannot take. So the here is, but the, the register number or your, your registration number or your rank is the, your rank is the, a single valued attribute. Single valued attribute, there should be only one value for the thing. Okay. Next to the 11th question. What is an instance? What is an instance of a database? What is an instance of a database? Is it the logical design of the database system? Is the entire, is it the entire set of attributes of a database put together in a single relation? The state of the database at any given point of time, the 
Fourth option is the initial values inserted into the database immediately after it is created. So here we have here four options. What is the instance of the database? See, see you have a database and you uh, were using some uh, front-end tool like, uh, like SMS or like any other tool, your like SQL Connect or uh, SQL Connect or using your JDBC, you have from the Java or Python, you put a, a database request to the database. That means that means you are creating an instance of the database. You are not getting the database to your end. You are only connecting to the database server. By right? by no, at that time you will be you will be having an instance. That instance will be the state of the database at that particular time. So instance of the database is that it is not that you get a, that means you are getting a copy of the database to to to, to be to be worked upon. So you, you cannot directly go to the database and uh, by using various tools you can connect to the, ser the server like SSMS or any other front end GUI tool which will allow you to, to connect to the database. And when you connect to an instance of the database is created, that instance is that, that is the state of the database at that particular time. Okay, that is the eleventh portion. Now, what is a foreign key? We know now here foreign key. So when you talk about foreign key, you have to keep in mind about the primary key. So a, a, a primary key is a, a unique identifier of the record in the database, and the, and, and the same record it can exist in uh, one or more tables based on some relation. So foreign key and uh, is like a child table, parent key is like a parent table. Okay? Now, foreign key is the primary key of a relation which is an attribute of another relation. So, primary key is a primary key of a relation which is an attribute, in not necessarily a, a foreign key can be a, a, a primary key in the table. So, the first answer is ruled out. Next, a foreign key is a super key of a relation which is an attribute more than more than one other relations. This also seems to be wrong. Next, third option, a foreign key is an attribute of a relation that is primary key of another relation. This is exact. See, a foreign key is an attribute of relation that is already a, a that is already a primary key in other relation. So, so th 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 this is meaning that a, 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 there would be a master table that is a primary table and the corresponding entries in the in the, in the subsequent child tables will be a foreign key. So the right answer a foreign key is an attribute of a relation that is primary key of other relations. Okay. Now, an, attri an attribute or an, an, an attribute is a dash in a table. What is an attribute? It is the properties of an entity. So here, uh, that means uh, one, uh, here when you refer to the table, what are the properties of the table? For example, student there, there will be student roll number, student name, student marks, etc. So here the columns are the attributes. The columns, the columns are the attributes. Columns are the attributes in a relation. What next? Next question, please. What is the method of displaying a primary key in a in a schema description. So when you draw some entity diagrams, you will have to uh, you define a primary key. How it, it, it is it is it is the, how it is denoted. There is some there is some naming convention to be followed when we, when we are discussing about the and how when you draw the year diagram. For example, rhombus, uh, rhombus is there. Then it will be arrow. It will be arrow, uh, and also italic will be there. Italic things uh, and underscore will be there. Underscore. Uh, underlining using a bold line, uh, underlining it using a bold line is how we define a primary key in a relation. Suppose you have entity called student, uh, you have entity called student, uh, student, uh, student here, the student ID is the primary key. We, we will, we, we will underline it. So next would be name, say it be name, then his own number, phone, etc. So the underscore. Uh, I mean, underscore means the underlying thing will be the primary key. When you when you see the entity diagram, you can clearly say that by seeing the by seeing the underline, you know this is this is the primary key. Next, which level of the following is not part of data extraction? So when you talk about data extraction, there are few levels like uh, physical level, logical uh, level, uh, view level. Here uh, there is something called as critical level. This is this is not a, a level of abstraction. The, the database abstraction would be a physical level, physical level, physical level, conceptual level, physical level, conceptual level, uh, 
or logical level or data level or view level here the critical is not a the critical level is not part of the is not part of data abstraction so the right answer is critical level is the critical level is not part of a is not part of a data abstraction next here is the question about the, the the primary key a primary key should be defined as a null not null either above can be used none of the above correct so we know that a primary key is a unique identifier and it will not accept null values so when we make a column as a not null not null and if so when you when we try to create a primary key the column should be not null because primary key will not accept uh, null values so automatically when you when you create a when you create a primary key it should be default be a a, it should be default be a not null and also the values will not be repeated so this is the property of the one this is the property of the primary key next which one of the following column properties you could be used to specify that cells in a columns must contain a monetary value see it is a, it is here this question is about a column property what are the the column properties Column properties will be data type, could be could be its length uh, and length. Now here we need to declare a column as a monetary value. Now what are that? Uh, now what is the property we have to do, do here? You have to check uh, is is it a null status? No, so null status is only checked by the column will allow null values or not. If, it, if the column is allowing null. Then you can make it. You can uh, leave it without providing a value. Is it a default value? Is not default value. Is it a data constraint? No, it is a data type. So data type will tell you what type of data you want to store in that column, that attribute. So if I say, I, if I say my data type of a column is integer, then I expect my uh, my, uh, my my data to be stored only as integers. There should not be any, any other value except integer. There cannot be a new a a darker field. So. Data type is an important property of a column, which tell you what type of data you are going to store. Okay, that is a data type. Next, if a if a denormalization situation exists with one to many binary relations, which of the following is true? What is the what is the denormalization? It is it is combine all the tables back to form single table and to display data without using any joins. So the denormal the denormalization is a process of uh, is, is possible storing the entire data and in, at, in, in, at one instance instead of having multiple tables. Now, now, in the, now the question is if a if a denormalization uh, exists with one to one one to one to one binary relation, which of the following is true? So we have four options here. All fields are stored in one relation. That is the first option. Second option: all fields are stored in two relations. Three relation, four relations. So, so obviously it should be the first option because in in the part of the uh, part of the denormalization, we will display all data. We will display all the data into one uh, one table only. So it is one relation. It is one relation. Next, a selecting a data type involve which of the following? So, so selecting a data type. So. When you are defining a column, you first you have the you name the column. Then you want to identify what is the type of data you are going to store it. Okay, store it. For example, uh, for example, a var car field or character field. So there is something like a car, var car, huh? n var car, n var car, n text. For example, this is a character field. For example, here also we have small int. Tiny int, tiny int, small int, tiny int, big int, big int, integer, integer. Then we have decimal. Then we have float. So the other various data is available. Now, when you when you are defining a column, you should identify what what is the correct data type. Now, how it is now how that is possible? How that is possible based upon a few based on few parameters. Those parameters are it should, it should maximize the storage space. And represent most values, improve data integrity, and all of the above. By using these three properties, the maximum storage property uh, represents the most values, 
or improve the data integrity. So, for example, we have care of care of 10 and where care of 10. So, when you know that exactly you are going to have 10 characters, you can directly use a care, but you are not sure that it could 10, it is not 10, it could be 8 or 6 or 8 characters, then better to go for get to go for where care so that the empty spaces is, is, is released. In the, in the case of care, even though you do not use the, the extra space is not released back to the OS. So, the, uh, it is the the all of the above things. Which of the is the best data type definition for oracle when a field is alpha numeric and a length can vary. So, when you so when it is an alpha numeric, then you, you, you cannot have an integer, and then the only option is only option is care or care or, or where care. Here there is one more thing. So, when it is an alpha numeric, you are expecting the data type be an uh, alpha numeric. It has to be either uh, care or where care. And the, the question is not a complete. The question is saying that a length can vary. So when, when it is a variable length, you have to use the where care because it is a it is a variable length. So if you declare as hundred, those you use only ten. Remaining ninety is freed out. Huh? But in the case of care here, care of care of hundred, you have to even though you use or don't, you still you have to make it as still you have to use it as uh, same hundred. So this is a, this is a result. But in the case of where care, if we use only 100, 100 is used. If we use only 10, remain 90, space is, is released. So when it is a alpha numeric and expecting a variable length, then you have to choose the, then you have to choose the, the where care. Next question is, which of the following column properties express whether the cells in the column must contain a data value? See, what are the what are the various uh, column properties? The column properties are data type, data type. Then, uh, then we have default, default value, default value. Then uh, constraints, constraints, uh, and the nullable property. Now, if you hear the question is that the question is that which property would be defined when your, uh, when, uh, when your column must contain a, a value. So, is it see, saying that a column must can or cannot have value? Then you have to make it as null. See, it is nullable. It is the it is the, the, the nullable property because here the value may or may not be there. So, the right answer is right answer is nullable property. So, so, so nullable property on a column will tell you whether you should supply value or does not require supply value. If you make it as a not null, that means you are bound to uh, supply value. If you do not supply value, you see your data is not going to be stored, you will be getting an error. You will be getting an error. Next, we will see this question. Which of the following is a relational algebra operation? Huh? Relational algebra, so you have to, uh, you have to be in the relational algebra, we have select, union, rename and all the above. The right answer is all the above. Select is a part of a relational algebra, union also, rename also. So, all of the above is the right answer. So, all of the above is the right answer when you talk about, when you talk about the relational calculus or the algebra. Next, which one of the following is not an aggregate? Now, what are the aggregate functions we know till now? We have min, max, we have min, max, count, variance. Yeah, there is a, so, here min is a, is a aggregate function, max is an average, average is also aggregate function. So, only left node answer is select. So, select is not a aggregate function. Select is not a aggregate function. The aggregate functions are used to get the minimum value, maximum value, count, variance and etc. So, so the, so select is not a, so select is not a, select is not a uh, an aggregate function. Okay. Now, which uh, algebra is, is widely used in DBMS? It is, uh, is it uh, the relational algebra or arithmetic algebra or both A and B or none of the above? So, the right answer is, the relational algebra is used in DBMS. Okay, next question. 
in the left of uh, in, in in the precedence of a set of operators the expression is evaluated from is it from left to left or left to right or right to right on right to left it is always left to right your dad your when you when you have some set of operators your uh, the, the, the expression is evaluated from left to right so this is the uh, the right answer is left to right not uh, left to left to, or the, it, it, it cannot be left to right or right to right it, also it cannot be right to left so the, the right answer is left to right next uh, which uh, now what is the function of union operator so now what is a union op union operation union operation is used to combine two result sets and it displays the distinct values now th th that is the meaning of the union so union is an operator in uh, dvms used to uh, uh used to join two query result sets and the uh, duplicates are eliminated now we have here the four, the four options here it contains the result sets of any it contains the results of any two different queries this is the first option it com it can it combines the result set of two different queries which have the same set of attributes in the select clause so this is important when you use a union clause so your column data types should be matching suppose you have two columns two columns in personal set even even in down on the second query also you need to have same two columns with the same data type so the right answer is a union operation combines the result sets of two different queries which have the same set of the select queries okay okay next question next question dash clause retains only one copy of identical triples so here the so, so what is that uh, uh, keyword which will give you only the only give the uh, distinct values the distinct is, is a keyword used to get only only one value for each group for example there are two roll numbers two roll numbers having same roll number so i'll i'll be getting only that roll number only once suppose there are two strings here in two there are two strings in my class if i say select a distinct name from class only one string will be coming second string is eliminated so when they, so in order to have only one record of each the identical then we have to use a distinct keyword so distinct keyword is used to select only distinct unique values unique values the other value is eliminated the other value is eliminated okay the union op uh, you know that union op just now we discuss what is a union operator the union operations automatically dash unlike the select okay it uh, union will not add any tuples it will eliminate uh, eliminate uh, uh, unique tuples adds common tuples and eliminate duplicates so we know that yeah we know that that we know that uh, um the union when we, it will going to join to two or more real sets and unique and the, the duplicates are removed so eliminates duplicates is the right answer is the right answer if we want to retain all the duplicates then we have to use union all so just opposite to the union is union all union all is the it will combine both the real sets even the duplicates are also included so uh, suppose i have 10 records 10 records here here also have 10 records all these ten records are here. Here also, if I say union all, I'm going to get ten plus ten, twenty records. Twenty records. If I don't use the uh, union, I don't use union. I just use union. Only ten records will be displayed. This is the. This is the. Thing. The number of relations. The number of uh, the number of attributes in a, in a relation. The number of rela number of uh, relations at number of attributes. In a relation is called as a deg degree. So degree is degree is degree is the number of relations in a thing. Now what is the number of uh, rows in a table is called as cardinality. Cardinality is cardinality is the number of rows in a table. Whereas degree is the number of attributes in a table is called as a degree. Is called a degree. Is called a degree. Uh, what uh, class 
is an additional filter that is applied to a result. What clause is an additional filter? Additional filter that is applied to result. Okay, select is not an additional filter because select is a default keyword. Group by uh, group by is not an additional filter. Having clause an additional filter. Auto by auto by is not a true additional filter. Auto by only sorts the data. Auto by only sorts the data. Auto by only sorts the data. So auto by cannot be there. And uh, group by it will not sort the data. It will not uh, additional filter. Group by will display the data as for some group. But uh, the select statement is also is not going to uh, is not going to additional filter. So the additional filter is uh, it is a having clause. So having clause. So having clause. Having clause is an uh, extra filter to be applied on the to be applied on the on the group clause. After applying the group clause, after the group by property, if you still want to if you still wanted to. If you still want to filter the data, then you have to use the having clause. So having clause is going to having clause is going to filter the group data, whereas where clause is going to filter the filter the select uh, the, the results are coming from the select statement. So where clause is the additional filter applied to result set, huh? whereas uh, having clause is an additional filter to eliminate the the group data to eliminate the group data to uh, eliminate the group data. What join are SQL Server default? What are the SQL Server join defaults? Is it outer join or is it a inner join or is it is it an equal join or none of them mentioned below or none of the mentioned below? So what is a so what is an um, is the default? It is an equal join. Equal join is a uh, default uh, join, equijoin is a default join that is available, that is available in the SQL Server default. Dash is used to search pattern matching in a target string. So, what is a, so uh, in, in DMMS for using the, for using the pattern matching, we have the keyword called as like operator, like operator. Uh, like operator is the operator used to find pattern matching. This uh, the, the operator has two things like uh, while to searching wildcards by using a percentile or underscore. So uh, by, by we can use the for searching we can use uh, uh, operator uh, ampersand so uh, for percentile and also the underscore. So like operator is the pattern. Uh, the like operator is the pattern matching, pattern matching in the pattern matching in the uh, yeah, like operator is used for pattern matching in the sing searching. Next, uh, so the set of possible data values. The set of possible values is it an attribute? No, it cannot be attribute. Is it a degree? Degree is what the number of attributes. What is the tuple? It is the row of the table. It is. A, a row, each row is a tuple, so it is only the domain. See, when you when you have a, a domain means when you, when you are expecting a possible values of domain. For example, uh, for example, for gender, it could be male or female. Generally, male or female. Okay, that is a domain here. So you cannot expect other values apart from male and female or transgender. Only three values possible. So that is a set of possible values is a domain here. That, uh, for example, if you go to uh, you go to an entering any qualification, then even the if so you find there undergraduate, postgraduate, intermediate, or tenth. Only possible values are these. these okay. So these are they are all part of the education domain. In the education domain, we have all all those things. The intersection operator is used to get dash tuples. Intersection operator. Intersection is used to get the common uh, tuples. It is not repeating. It is not different. It is common. It is all. It is the common tuples. Okay. If you want to retain all duplicates, if you want to retain the all the duplicates, we must use. Okay. You, know, you must use dash union all union sum intersect all or intersect sum. If you want to use all the. If you want to use. 
we want to use all the duplicates then we have to use the union all union all will not union on union all will uh, will uh, combine the entire two real sets if not remove duplicates union union is going to union is going to um, union is going to filter out the duplicate records where union all will have all the records so union all is the right answer so union all is the right answer next the union operation automatically does, unlike the set clause so what does the union operator does union operator is going to remove duplicates so unlike the select clause what are the select clause the select clause will also not add tuples uh, select clause will not eliminate duplicates uh, eliminates unique tuples so eliminating unique tuples is not possible uh, add common tuples so all these are not possible with the select only thing that is possible by union is to eliminate the to el eliminate the el eliminate the duplicate tuples duplicate tuples Uh, next question dash uh, clause allows us to select only those rows in a result set of a dash clause that is satisfied now here it is having two uh, you have to provide two values dash clause al allows you to select only those rows in the result uh, relation of a clause that is uh, that satisfies a that is satisfied a specified now what is this uh, this have to be interpreted no dash clause allow to select only those rows first of all first you have to write uh, example select we'll write a small thing select star from emp now here uh, dash clause allows you to select only those rows in the result set of a clause that satisfies a specific, uh, specified predictive so here this is a this is going to give us some data this is going to if there are some valid records the records here uh, we are going to get some set of records if you want to select only few records then we will have to use the where clause then we will have to use the where clause so 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 out of the given values if you want to select only few values if you want to only select few uh, few values then we have to use the then we have to use the where clause so the where clause is used to used to uh, used to filter the data so if your condition matches then only those set of records will be displayed if the condition does not match this you will not get any records here so the answer would be here the from clause here from clause here and the where clause here so the uh, it will be the it will be the where clause so where clause is going to filter out the values based on condition the from clause is going to get the table from the information from the table so getting information on the table is the is the is the is the is the is the job of a from clause so for the from the from clause you are, you are going to get from which table data you want to then after getting the table data again you want to want to filter you again you want to filter then we have to use the where clause so where clause is going to filter the from clause data where clause is going to filter the from clause from clause data no no this is the last question for in this session we'll continue with the next session okay dash clause is used to list the attributes desired in the in the result of a query so how do you write a generally a, a query select star means all the columns star means all the columns or you will say i want to, instead of star i'll say i want to just to emp id emp id emp name okay this is a so it, it could be a star or some particular columns here i have i want to get two columns here now the, the question is dash clause is used to list the attributes list the attributes now here by using star we are listing the attribute we are saying i want all the attributes if i don't want uh, all i will say i want to list i want to list only few columns this listing is this listing is 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 possible only in the select statement listing is possible only is a now because where is so where cannot be used because where is only to filter the filter the yeah, 
filter the given values filter the given values so where is not right answer from is only to get to from which table you want to get the data distinct is going to give the unique values but here the question is uh, to list listing of the attributes listing of the attributes listing of the attributes is possible only by using the by using the by using the select statement by using the select statement only then we can we can only get the data right. thank you we'll continue the next session remaining questions there are, there are around 25 questions more okay. we'll discuss in the next session thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates